Yeah, but I mean, I think I mean, it's unfair for people to have a go at Justin. You know, I mean, I, I, I don't I don't have Twitter or anything, but I, you know, you hear the grumblings and. You know, Justin's had some good moments for us, and, and I think it's hard to go from spending your career in one place and pack up and move and go somewhere else. And you know, that's everybody thinks it's just about stepping on the field, but there's 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 huge life changes that go on. Um, you know, the same for Hosu, who's who's a child, who's packed up and moved here on his own, and and to expect him to be completely adjusted and. and you know, either of them. It takes time. You know, you look at leagues across the world. People get, you know, big money transfers in Spain, England, whatever, and it takes some time to settle. And I think, you know, it's it's a matter of being supportive of them and, and letting them know that you brought them here for a reason and being confident in them. And, you know, it's too easy. It's it's just too easy in this world to turn on people too so quickly, you know. And, and you know, if that's the mindset of people, I think that's, that's for me, that's hugely disappointing, you know, because no matter what their performances are, it's not like they're not putting in an effort you know what I mean and sometimes things don't come off and you know all of us in our daily lives go through stretches where things don't go well for us you know but the only difference is you know these guys do it in front of 25,000 every night and everybody gets to have a go at them you know and I think you know I think if, if there's things to be fixed we'll, we'll do our best to fix them and support these players um, but also everybody needs to take a step back and take a deep breath and look at the whole thing so um, you know, it was a matchup thing that we thought they'd play Edwards on the uh, out wide because um, they played well against us last time, and Donnie's athleticism would give give us you know a matchup out there. And, and Donnie's been training well, and so he deserved a shot. So, um, you know, that was my choice. Um, he's done well. You know, he's responded well. And the hard part for Scott is, you know, he's fit and healthy and ready to go, right? But training isn't the same as games, right? So people want Scott in the game, but you don't know how long he can go because he hasn't played any games. And so it's one of those catch 22s. At some point, you just gotta roll the dice with it and. You know, he got through the 30 minutes and he came out and he's like, oh, I wasn't like practice. You know, he was he was sh shattered a little bit, but that'll, he's building that and, you know, we'll, he'll be he'll be back pretty soon. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, the first thing is fear and, you know, when you, when you, when you, when you hear the diagnosis and concern for him and his family and, and um, you know, just to see him be a, a power of example unto himself to the amount of work he put in in the weight room, coming off treatments, you know, and... I've never been around someone who's been in treatment before, luckily, for, you know, for my family's sake. But so, you know, I always, the movie in my head was, you know, sick and, you know, this and that and the other. And um, he never let it get him down and he kept going. And I think everybody just sort of stood back and just admired him and, and to see what he's been through and to not, you know, back down from it and overcome it. It's just, you know, it's a... You know, it's a, hopefully it's a story that gets out pretty wide so that, you know, he's a power of example to, to others who are going through the same thing because I think it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing.